All right, well, how's it going, everybody? Welcome to The Moving Platform. Mike here at Universal Orlando. Uh, we're gonna take our first ride on Fast and the Furious Supercharged. Uh, just opened up uh, officially uh, last week. Uh, it was in soft open for a little while, but I like to not really give things a full video review until they are officially open. So now we are here. We're gonna give this thing a shot. The standby line right now is 300 minutes. They actually just closed it off. That's how long the standby line is. But this ride has uh, two different other, op well, three other options actually. It does have Express Pass if you pay for Universal's Express Pass, or if you're a premier annual pass holder and you get it free after four. They do have the Express Pass. They do have a single rider line, which I'm very thankful for because I'm almost always here by myself. So single rider lines are great, but it also has the virtual line, which, show that right side up, there we go. Uh, it does have the virtual line, which by myself, I walked up to get a virtual ticket and I got for 12 o'clock to one o'clock, which is in 10 minutes. So if you are here to do Fast and the Furious or any rides that have virtual lines, like uh, Fast and the Furious has a virtual line, Jimmy Fallon has a virtual line, take advantage of the virtual line because it's honestly the best way to go. If you're, especially if you're not by yourself. If you're a single rider and there's a single rider line, that is a, clearly your best option. But your other option, virtual pass or pay for Universal's Express Pass. Uh, because it is worth it. Since you have to pay for it, it's nothing like Disney's Fast Pass. But with a standby line at 300 minutes, 300 minutes, take that flight of passage. Uh, but a standby line at 300 minutes, that is your entire day. That's five hours. And they actually just close it off and quit taking people. That's how busy this ride in Universal is today. But we got like 10 minutes before our virtual pass. So uh, we're gonna hang out here, let me scope it out, go check out the store maybe. And uh, then we're gonna come back and uh, hop on in uh, Fast and the Furious. Just so you know, uh, there will be no ride footage on here. Universal is very, very picky, very strict about ride video. Uh, I've gotten in trouble multiple times and I essentially said, look, I'm not gonna film anymore. There are videos out there uh, of people who have snuck cameras on and people who got media clearance. So I advise you to go and find an on-ride on video uh, if you want to check that out but I will not be showing any ride footage on this review. So we're gonna go hang out, then we're gonna go ride, and then we're gonna be back to uh, give our review and our thoughts on the ride. All right, so we got lots of shirts. Lots and lots of shirts. That's a pretty cool little garage shirt. Good quality, nice, uh, not too thick, but not like paper thin either. How much are these? They're 45. It's a little high for a button shirt like that. Something like that at Disney would probably cost you around, uh, well, no, it probably would be about the same actually. So, and that was for an extra small. So it might go, uh, it might go up in price for one that's bigger. I can see a large on the way to the back, and it's still 45. So, but that's a pretty cool garage shirt. And again, I'm not really going to wear anything Fast and the Furious, but pretty cool. Oh uh, yeah, the Dom uh, mechanic sign, another Fast and the Furious garage parking sign, another hat. Uh, some shot glasses, some coasters. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much the rest, the rest of the store. It's pretty much the same stuff that you see on this rack right here, just in different styles. So different shirts, different button-up shirt on the other side over there. And there's more hats, more shot glasses. So kind of your basic run-of-the-mill theme park merchandise, um, but just Fast and the Furious themed. All right, so our virtual line just opened up, so we're gonna go get in the virtual line and uh, finally check out this ride, see what it's all about. Moving along pretty quickly here in the virtual line. I did ask if you're a single rider in the virtual line if it's faster to do single rider or virtual, and they said virtual. So we're moving along pretty quickly here, uh, but they do have some of the cars inside the garage here uh, for you to look at. Again, don't ask me what movies these are from, I don't know. Uh, I've seen, I think, four of the movies, so, and none of these cars look familiar to me, so. But uh, they're pretty cool looking. If you're a car guy or a car girl, uh, yeah, the cars are looking pretty awesome. All right, so we just got off of Fast and the Furious, so uh, I can give my thoughts on it now. Um, this ride sucks. I'm sorry. It's, it's awful. It's it's terrible. I'm sorry. I I don't like to to be negative about things but I mean all right let, let's try to find the positives is it fun sure uh, it's um essentially it's calm um, the premise of it is that you are on a party bus for some reason it's a fast and the furious ride and you're not in a sports car 
I don't know. Uh, so it's party bus, and you're trying to get away from Shaw, who I know is one of the villains from the later movies. Um, and of course, they tie it to don't use your cell phones and don't video record by saying that Shaw can trace cell phone signals. Except every one of us on the ride had our cell phones on. So even if we're not using it, it can still trace the signal. But uh, okay, that's logic. Let's just put that aside. Um, it's a screen ride. It's a slow moving screen ride uh, with screens on either side of a big giant party bus type vehicle, just like uh, Kong uh, or Skull Island Reign of Kong. Um, except somehow they managed to take Kong, copy it, but not make it as fun. So, I, mean, I actually like Kong better than I like this. This is, it's really loud. There's a lot of smoke and fog effects. And I know I sound like a grumpy old geezer, but there's no story. There's nothing there. It's just, hey, get on this party bus. Uh-oh, stuff's going down. Fire, loud explosions. You're not moving fast, but the screen makes it look like you are. Oh, now we're gonna jump a bridge and the ride's over. The ride just abruptly ends. There's nothing there. So, I, yeah. Uh, on a scale of one to 10, I'm gonna give it a four. It's, it's a Fast and the Furious ride that's neither fast nor furious. I know it's a copy of the ride that's already been in Universal Hollywood, so I can understand the just bringing over a clone of something, I get that. Um, but you, they missed a golden opportunity to actually do something innovative. This is why people uh, give Universal such crap about their screen rides. And yet they did it again. Another screen ride. So, yeah. I mean, if you're a Fast and the Furious fan, sure, ride it. If you're a dude, ride it. You'll love it. It's loud. There's explosions. There's cars. There's hot girls. You'll love it. Um, but if you're looking for something with any type of substance, nah. In 10 years, this won't be here. They'll, they'll move on to something else. How could you make a Fast and Furious ride and not make a coaster? Come on. Come on, man. How? How could you not do that? But anyway, yeah. Uh, on, like a scale, on a scale of 1 to 10, give it a 4. But... Just not my thing. Probably won't ever write it again. But who knows? Maybe. I don't. Uh, maybe. I don't know. So, but anyway, that's uh, my review of Fast and the Furious Supercharged. There you have it. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, share with your friends and family. And as always, watch your step.